I am excited to create some spring themed posts. I want to go to photos floral and see what comes up. This is showing some really cool floral things. Here's the crop tool and you can easily go in, change the shape. We have standard, we have ratios that you can choose. Maybe I choose like a square ratio. I'm going to go ahead and choose like a circular one and I'm going to hit OK. I want to make some photo enhancements and you can do that easily by applying, let's say, a filter. We have some effects right here. We have enhancements and blur. We have duotone, grayscale, darken, and we have matte. I actually quite like the matte version because it kind of gives that pastel -y floral vibe to it. But I also want to make some enhancements because I feel like over here, if I zoom in, I'm pressing Command Plus Plus on my keyboard. I see that it lacks some contrast, so I can actually go ahead, select this image again, turn on my contrast, um, enhancements by toggling this button on and maybe I want to increase the contrast a little bit actually decrease it and then decrease the shadow a little bit as well I'm going to add some text this is a tutorial and I'm going to prop it up on top I'm not choosing any font right now but you have access to all the Adobe fonts within Adobe Express so you don't need to worry about what we're going to do this tutorial is about making floral arrangements duplicate this text and I'm going to bring it to the bottom floralarrangements.com because why not the simple way to do that is essentially going here and selecting the font that you have. Adobe Express is getting from Adobe Fonts and if you don't know what that is you can go to fonts.adobe.com and find all the fonts that you'd like. You can go to all fonts and you can filter it on the left hand side. All of this is similar to what we have within Adobe Express. I'm going to choose maybe a calligraphic font. Maybe I want like a secondary text in here. So I want to use something like Degular, which is by Ono Type Co. And I really, really love this font as well. But I want to add some dimension to this post in here as well. Go to the Shapes panel and add whatever I want. I'm going to choose a rectangle. I am going to add it to the background. I can go and color pick from right here. That makes this weird kind of blurry illusion that this is part of the image, but it really isn't but i want to keep it in the same color family i can just drag this up here towards the left and maybe that's like a subtle color it's there but not really you can see it if you know it you can actually create one more simple post before we do that because i want to showcase an example to you where you can share multiple pages within a template or if you just wanted to share one page you can use the app for it i want to duplicate this and just say spring number two right here i'm going to create another page within this document and i'm going to say duplicate page Delete the shape and the photograph, but I do want to add another photograph in the background. Floral arrangement this time. Maybe I use this one. I'm going to bring it back and I can either make it a background or just use it like so. The text is not legible at all. A simple example or something to counter that is creating like an overlay of a shape on top. Shapes panel. I'm going to click the rectangular shape. So I'm going to center it and then I'm going to color pick like a beige tone. I can go in and decrease the opacity of this. Let's bring it to a darker color. That that's just two ways to make your own thing. Does seem like the exposure on this is a lot. So maybe I want to decrease that. I'm going to just use a hack here, which is essentially putting a shape. You don't need to change any blend mode. Remember that color we picked initially? I'm going to use that as an overlay sort of a situation here. And I can change the blend mode. I can do it to a multiply. And we have like subtle warmth to it now. And if I remove this, this was a lot of exposure. But if I bring it back, it adds a little bit of warmth to it. So I want to showcase how you can make a remixable template and then show you how to remix it as well. This particular project has two pages. I want to share it with you all. So I'm going to hit the projects button. So this is a project I was working on. Remember, it has two pages. I'm going to click these three buttons and it says make a template, which is super cool because once I click on this, it is preparing the project file to make a template. I can say spring template and you can share it to a library. And I'm just going to say save template and it's going to save the template for me in the background. This is the library and I can click on the library to see if there is a template. 